So other than price and size of the cello, I'm gonna share two of the most important things you need to consider when you're thinking about buying a cello. Hey, I'm Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com and if you do need a sizing chart, there's a link for that in the description box below. Generally, if you're 12 or 13 years or older or five feet or taller, you probably just need a full-size instrument. So I'm not really gonna talk any more about that, although it is very important to get the right size instrument. Otherwise, the first big category I wanna talk about is the physical inspection of the instrument. And this generally isn't as big of an issue with a brand new instrument, but it is with older instruments. The first thing you wanna look out for is cracks, and you wanna look all over the instrument, on the scroll, in between the pegs, you know, on the neck, underneath the fingerboard, under the tailpiece, places that might be hard to see at first. Because cracks are bad news. Yes, they can be fixed, but they're expensive to fix, and they hurt the resale value of the instrument, and also they hurt the performance of the instrument. So kids, just say no to crack. The second thing is you need to check the condition of the fingerboard and you can look down the end of it and see if it's bumpy or wavy or warped and see if it needs to be planed. You wanna check the condition of the bridge. Is it straight or is it leaning over one way or the other? That's not good if it is. Also, are the feet flush on the top of the instrument? You shouldn't see any space from where the feet of the bridge meet the instrument. You wanna check the instrument for other damages or scratches, although it is important to differentiate here between accidental boo-boos and purposeful antiquing. A lot of times, modern instruments, like you can see here, will have all dents or scratches scratches or changes in the varnish wear to make a modern instrument look older. It might not necessarily be something you have to get touched up. You just have to be aware that your instrument might come with some character. On a cello, we always have to watch out for how intense the wolf tone is. And there are measures you can take to reduce or maybe eliminate the wolf tone. I'm gonna ask my friend Suwaima to demonstrate the difference a wolf tone eliminator can make. The second and probably most important thing to consider when you're buying a cello is what it sounds like and also the playability. The best thing to do is to play the instrument. And if you can't play the instrument yourself, I suggest bringing along a friend or someone who can play the instrument, who can play it for you. And hopefully somebody who is informed that knows what an instrument in that price range is supposed to sound like. You don't have to play the Dvorak Cello Concerto, just play a scale or something simple to get a sense of what the instrument sounds like. And if you're comparing instruments, play the same thing on every instrument and in the same room. There's a lot of ways to talk about tone, since it's a very subjective thing, but some of the things you can think about is what is the projection like? Is it powerful and loud? Or is it just kind of weak and soft? Is the color dark and brooding, or is it bright and shiny? You know, is the depth of the sound like really deep, or is it just kind of a thin sound? Also, is it even across the strings? You know, like maybe the C string is awesome, but the A string is nowhere to be found. You could talk about the, the fuzziness. Is it a fuzzy sound, or is it just clean and pure? When talking about playability, you know, what does it actually feel like to play? Is the neck too wide? Are the strings too high and too hard to push down? When you put the bow on the string, does it you know, speak right away or is it just a struggle to get any sound out? These are all things to consider. The last thing is that I know it can be a difficult process to check out all these things and test the instrument and make an informed decision and not get ripped off, especially if you're buying from sites like Craigslist or eBay where you don't really know anything about the history or the process of where the cello came from. And that's why here at Fiddler Shop, we work so hard to find high quality instruments and we spend a lot of time setting them up and adjusting them so that every instrument sounds awesome. And so we eliminate that riskiness because we do all this work and we inspect all this stuff on our end. We even offer a generous warranty, so even if you do have any problems or issues, you can come back to us. We're happy to answer any other questions you have. Just give us a call. We'd like to help you find an instrument that you'll love for years and years. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you at fiddershop.com.